Hey, it's Dave Wyman. Time for another installment of Football 101 after championship weekend. Um, 49ers and the Chiefs are going to score off in Super Bowl 54. And so I always remember that because it's one year younger than me at the time. So uh, it's kind of sad that it's that high of a number. But uh, what we're going to look at, there's been a lot of talk about Pete Carroll and uh, that he needs to modernize his play calling. And we're going to look at a trap play that went for a touchdown. There's nothing more basic than a trap play, except like maybe a sweep, you know, just a basic run that really needs a lot of timing and execution. But um, at this point, so it was the first quarter, 601, third and eight. And at this point, Jimmy Garoppolo, who threw uh, eight passes in the game, he had thrown three of his eight passes up to this point. And the ball was in the air a total of 10 yards because one was two yards behind the line of scrimmage, another one was four yards behind the line of scrimmage. But with Debo Samuel getting 32 yards after catch, they end up all the way down on the 36 yard line. So let's take a look at this. And this is, this is a brilliant play, but I keep thinking, okay, if Pete Carroll calls this and they don't execute it, he's the biggest idiot in the world, right? But for this on third and eight, and the reason why is because they're thinking pass all the way. So what happens, and we heard this from some of uh, the D linemen uh, when they said, uh, yeah, they turned us loose, meaning rush the passer, which means just get upfield, go north and south, rather than just taking on blocks and kind of playing the run. So that's how they catch them here, is they know these guys have their ears pinned back. As a matter of fact, this player right here actually stumbles and falls. And, uh, and what happens on this trap play, so they pull their guard, so they get a block down here, and Staley, their left tackle, he sort of hesitates, kind of hits him a little bit, but knows that he's fallen down, and then goes up and cleans up this backside. Um, and we got a block down here. Um, this is the trap guy right here. And the reason why this guy isn't the trap guy is, is because they know he's going flying upfield. You don't even have to block him. He's going to run right past it, and he ended up doing that. But their guard, then their right guard comes over, and he just kind of cleans this off. So you've got this huge gap here, uh, a lane right here of just an inside running play because you, you block this guy, you block this guy. Garoppolo did a great job on this because this is a timing play. If you if the timing is off on this at all, it screws the whole thing up. And what happened was it was kind of a lollipop snap where he had to kind of reach forward for it and then hand it to, to Raheem Mostert real quickly. But he was able to get that done, and I thought he really was instrumental in this play and the timing and everything. But then he gets the handoff and just off to the races for uh, for Mostert, who had an unbelievable day. So. You know, this is just a basic play of, you know, it's, it's a trap play. And you normally wouldn't run it on third and eight because it's going to pick up five or six. One of my favorite plays that the Seahawks ran this year was in Philadelphia in week 12. It was the 58-yard run by Rashad Penny for a touchdown. It's a trap play. Very simple, but it's just beautiful when it works because the timing and you get everybody blocked. And this is just such basic football that, you know, when you start talking about, oh, we need to be more modern, it's not about the play calling. It's about the execution. If you execute, any play will work. And so I think hopefully the Seahawks are able to do that better. But, you know, again, I think Garoppolo was six for eight. He threw eight passes in this game. So uh, I don't think that was what everybody's calling modern football these days. So I, I think the 49ers are going to win. I, it's going to be a great Super Bowl, I think. But because of this and because they're able to execute, and that's something that the Seahawks did pretty well in the running game this year. Um, if they execute the way they have all year, they'll win the Super Bowl.